Ah, yeah, so I'm here with the dogs. There's Nala, Hector, and Dad's this way. And um, so I just do a little bit of recall work. So I've got just clicks, whistle. Um, so when you got, I'd say more than two dogs, although it's handy with just one um, or any number. Uh, just to whistle them for recall. This way. It says shouting each individual name. Come on, guys, this way. So maybe I should whistle then. I should go. <whistles> so you see how they all changed direction and came to me. Good guys, yes, good guys. Good boy, Dad. So. I have got treats, but I'm not going to use them every time they recall to the whistle. I'm just going to use them some of the time. Um, so, yeah, the way I started with the whistle, I try and do the same, like, whistle. So I do sh two short blasts on the whistle. So um, that means to the, the dogs to come back. So I started training with just Dudley. Uh, Hector did whistle training with my aunt's partner. Um, but yeah, I try and make the whistle the same. So rather than doing different whistles, because that could mean different things. Uh, yeah, so I started like in the house, I think. And then when they came to the whistle and Dudley came to the whistle, he got a treat. Then I started doing it outside and then he got a treat. And I kept building on that. Um, so, um, as you can see, they're in the field now. All doing their own thing. So, I'll see if I can break off what they're doing. They'll come. <whistles> so, as you can see, my dog came so they can have treats. Hector is too slow so he can just have a verbal reward. Good boy, Herc! So, um, good boy! My aunt um, went a bit crazy with the whistle with Hector. And I think he's got fed up of it, almost a bit bored of it. And doesn't tend to listen to the whistle quite as well anymore. So he needs a bit of like reminding type of training. Um, so that's what I thought I'd do because they can run and they can do their own thing and I'll just whistle them back every so often. So now Nala's had a treat. She's going to keep returning because she thinks she can have a treat all the time. Is that what you think? Is that what you think, Nana Banana? Oh, she says I know. She says I don't think. I know. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, Nala's, uh, you know, typical Nala food about, treats about. She's your girl. So I don't know if you can see. See all that white there? It's not daisies, that's feathers. So uh, a bird's out here. I think I see more feathers. Nala, leave it. Good girl. Good girl, you're so clever. They just feathers. It might be a seagull, they're quite big feathers. Can't leave it. Nala. So now Nala's distracted. Yeah, she saw me. I swear she sees me just lift the whistle and she's like, hmm. I'll go, Hector, I'm watching you. I don't know if you can see Hector. He's over by just left of the gate. He's about to jump a fence. So we'll whistle. <laughs> so you see Hector, because he's quicker this time, he can have a treat this time. You guys can have half a treat each because you didn't have to run so far. Good boy, Herc. So I read somewhere and um, it's kind of interesting sort of way of doing recall was if the dog comes back 
after one call, you give them like a treat or a reward, like a toy or something like that, you know, high value. If it takes two calls, you praise them. If it takes three calls, you put them on the lead for, I don't know, 30 seconds or something. And then you keep repeating that process. And each time you put them on the lead, make it 30 seconds longer. So they start to learn that it's much easier, much better to recall straight away rather than ignoring you and doing their own thing. So you could see similar sort of theory happened just then with Hector that the first time I called him, or I whistled him, he came but he was slow. He didn't turn and stop what he was doing immediately and come. Whereas my two did. So Hector got praise, my two got a treat. And he saw my two get a treat. And Hector would be clever enough to actually figure this out that he'll get a treat the first time he listens. Or if he listens the first time, or if he immediately breaks off what he's doing and comes. So you can see somebody is like my little spotty shadow because I got treats. And then Nana Banana, not like in your bag. Your bag? Ah, you guys are so pretty. Do you like a walkie sack? Do you like a walkie I think I need to take a still of this picture because it's so cute. Sorry about the voice, but it makes them do silly faces. Can you. Bag? Good girl, Nala. Good boy, Dads. Addy. Are you all pretty? Are you all best mates? Are you all my buddies? Ah, you guys are so cute. Good guys, go find, go and have fun. Nala, get him, go boop. I can't boop him. I can't boop him if you've got treats. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I just thought it'd be a it was an interesting little video. And at first I felt like a complete idiot going out with a whistle because, like, I'm no dog trainer. Um, not really. And it just felt like almost a bit, I don't know, pretentious or, I don't know, like it was better than I was. But I've got used to it now. And the fact that they listen quite well to the whistle... I think because it's quite a piercing sound, like if we're constantly talking to a zone, they tend to zone out and then to zone in on just their name when they're busy focusing on other things can be uh, quite hard for them to do. Good boy, Dad. So Hector was going to go home today. Uh, he'll go home this evening. But um, my aunt and her partner's out for the day, are out for the day, so. We got Uncle Hector. Can't say him or my dogs are disappointed by the fact that he's here. They look like they're enjoying themselves. And like, it can be a bit odd sometimes training other people's dogs, but like, nobody cares with Hector really that he tra I do a bit of training because I have him so often that he does need to listen to me and he does need to listen to my whistle because like different whistles have a different pitch so just keep that in mind if you have more than one whistle you're better off sticking to the same one like this one is the clicks advanced one and you can unscrew it there and that changes the pitch but um, I just got it on like a lanyard around my neck. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't change the pitch. I keep it the same pitch and we do okay. So I keep thinking like I'm not gonna do too long videos and then they end up longer. <laughs> but yeah, how to whistle train your dog my way, which as you can see, it works. <laughs> Even if it's a play with Hector and 
attack heck today. <laughs> In a Dudlington? Yes. So Dudley sometimes gets called Dudlington. Heck is heck. Nala's is Nana Banana. They have ruder names if they're naughty, <laughs> which I won't go into. So yeah, it's a bit of a miserable day. It's drizzling, it's quite cold. So um, yeah, that's whistle, blah, blah, blah. that's whistle training your dogs and a bit of bonus play with the dogs. Bye.